Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at a custom gun for you to spawn in and attach onto your base or ship and blast your enemies in a very different way. So this is the Helios XR 5S rotor gun which is this right here which I have attached onto the blackjack which I've showcased quite some time ago. Which is a fantastic ship by the way for testing out different weapons because you can remove the tools at the very front here and just attach them on. Yes, for today we are looking at the rotor gun which spawns in just like this. It's a bunch of rotors which have been attached onto each other with some blast or blocks going around the side. We then have a programmable block which has been set up to attach and detach the rotor head in such a way that will fire off like a rocket. So if I press F10 and find the rotor gun right here, this thing is only 22 large blocks. It's very easy to spawn in, we just go like this and find wherever you want to put it. So if I want to put it over here, I'm going to attach it onto the side of this starting base. If I just come like that, paste that in, we're now almost ready to go. The next thing we have to do from here is put in a chair. I'm going to use a control seat for this demonstration, so I'm just going to plop it down here. So we will need to set up a few little things. So bringing my character all the way over here, I'll have to get into the seat and find the programmable block on it. So pressing G, we're going to be looking for a block called the Block Rotor Lance, which is that thing right there. We drag it to our hotbar and find Run. We have three augments we can use. The first one is Fire, which if I was to come over to it and press it, we fire our rotor head out. We can tap that as many times as we want and it will keep making the rotor head and firing it away. So there's that. If I come over here once again and find that programmable block called Lance and drag it down here, we'll go to run and type in Salvo. This will fire a few of them at a time and then stop like so. Then if I find it for one final time over to here, run and go for auto it will now fire continuously until you press it again. No ammunition is required, so once this thing has been pasted in, you are good to blast your enemies with these rotor heads. So now what happens if we were to put them onto a ship, which is what I've done up here. So coming all the way up here to the blackjack, I've set it up ready for a demonstration against this starting base. Coming inside and all the way to the cockpit, I've already set up a few controls, so I can press up 1 and 2 to fire them on both sides. I can press 4 and 5 for auto firing, like so. There is a little bit of kickback when firing them both at the same time, as you saw there. I will do it once again, so you do have to bear in mind that. So I'm just going to turn and start facing the... In fact, let's go for the platform itself and just fire into that. It's simply a block destruction. If I just come over here, bring my free camera down, we'll get a better look at this. So we're going to take a look over here. This is where I launched it. It does a small amount of damage, but if we were to rapid fire it, it's going to mount up and wreak havoc. So if I just come back to here and go and target the red ship with this. Let's go and bring my camera around so you get a better view and fire one. There we go, that was a lot of damage right there. Firing this one, there we go. If he clips it at the right angle, it does one hell of a lot of damage. And here we go, we're just going to bombard this with our rotor weaponry. And just pummel them with it. Now you don't have to worry about this if you do play on a official Keen server, because scripts are disabled, thus this weapon will not work. But if you want to use this in a private game or with your friends, you can do and you essentially have unlimited ammo to destroy whatever you wanted to destroy. And it is bloody fantastic the way this thing works. Look at that. We've just absolutely wrecked that red starting base with all those rotor heads. Look at that. Amazing. Now you will have to be a little bit careful because you are shooting a bunch of blocks into the world. So it will start eating up your block count. But do be aware of that if you don't have any form of trash cleanup turned on. We can just come and start bombarding the starting base and all the way around. It does have a nice following effect when you're moving a mouse like so. It's really good. If I come around to here, we can get a better view. Look at all of the road heads going everywhere. We are now destroying it. 
Then we just tilt it around, turn it a little bit. It's good, isn't it? It's a very neat little weapon to play around with and kill stuff with. I wonder if there's any pirates name. No, there isn't. But there is, there is the blue ship. Now this video is basically done. There's not too much else to talk about. You just spawn it in, attach it onto a large grid, be it a base or a ship. It's much better to have this on a ship so you can aim it. But do remember, more than one tends to have quite a lot of kickback. So I'm just gonna line myself up with this and then we're going to start blasting it. Finding my free camera once again. Over to here. Let's go and launch all of them at once, straight into it. And then just tilt myself up a little bit more. There we go. It doesn't take much for these road heads to go all the way through. Means I am in survival mode, there is nothing being cheated or anything like that. It's simply just taking advantage of the fact that you can place a new rotor head on a rotor once it's been removed. There we go. It does a lot of work against light armoured blocks. So anyway, the Helios XR5S rotor gun will be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do because it's a hell of a lot cheaper to build this than to keep your rocket launchers rolling. Do remember that you will have to have scripts enabled in the world so you can't use it on an official server. And that's that and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.